What's up, everybody? Doug here with Leaving the Dream. So a couple news stories caught my eye this morning. One of them is that Derek Khan, Bobby Wen, and the disgraced Honolulu police chief, Louis Kealoha, turned themselves in today to start their sentences. Derek Khan has a three and a half year sentence that he's starting today. Bobby Wen has a four and a half year sentence that he's starting today. And the ex-chief is starting his seven year sentence for bank fraud and conspiracy charges. He reported to his prison in Oregon. But what is interesting is that KITV is reporting that on May 9th, something like that, they got their hands on some court documents that document the former police chief Louis Kealoha denying now the charges that he was convicted and pled to, saying that he did not commit bank fraud, he did not conspire to frame Gerard Puana, that this is not what really happened, that all that really happened was someone stole their mailbox, they don't know who it was, and then they made a case for it. So I'm not sure what the plan is here. Either he didn't do these crimes and he wants everybody to know, or this is some attempt to kind of get the ball rolling on an appeal process. Maybe he wants to flip on Catherine. Maybe he's going to start talking and hopes that he can come back and appeal this. I'm not really sure what the plan is here. It's kind of awkward and surprising that this happened just a few weeks before he would be, he would be reporting to jail. And maybe it was just him being desperate, throwing something out there because when it gets close to jail time, then you start to trip out, I imagine. But uh, I thought that was interesting. I wonder how this is going to go for him. Seven years is a long time. It's sad that the police got wrapped up in corruption and that we have to be talking about this right now. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to update you guys and kind of fill you in on what was happening. Hope you guys are all being safe out there. And until the next time, aloha.